Andrew Day's an experienced IT manager. He spent 16 years at Aviva before taking voluntary redundancy in 2013. He has cerebral palsy, which does affect his speech. But since going back to the job market, he says he's applied for more than a thousand jobs, but keeps having the same problem. People like his CV, but the trail goes cold once they speak to him. Everyone calls up quite friends uh, because there was one person passed from me saying, What's wrong with your voice? What's wrong with your voice? Enough look, enough look, change voice. But we've said, Right, you know. He's certain that his experience, his skills and his qualifications should be enough to get him many of the jobs he's gone for. But the months of rejections can be difficult to take. And so you're in a position where you think, oh, I'm not going to apply for it. Oh, I've had enough. <laughs> and that, it's that stage where you think, oh, what's the point? The recruitment company sent me an email. Am I interested in this position? I put my company there. Please note, I have a problem with my speech due to cerebral palsy. To be patient on the phone, I got a phone call yesterday afternoon. <laughs> and the same thing happened. We'll call you back. We'll call you back when you're better. In the meantime, he's now set up his own website, social media and filmmaking business and is working with Equal Lives, the Norfolk organisation that works alongside disabled people to overcome the barriers they face and campaign for fairer treatment. He's now planning filming and web content for their annual independent living event that's running in Norwich next Wednesday. It shows off the technology and the equipment that helps disabled people make the most of their lives. Amanda Nelson is their deputy chief exec and thinks that it is a wider problem that Andrew's facing. He is the tip of an iceberg, unfortunately. You know, we're 21 years on from the Disability Discrimination Act. Um, we came into being just after that. Though we've seen some barriers removed, we still hear of people being told that they're a fire risk when they go into a cinema being told that, you know, they can't get on the bus because there's not room for them, you know, it's very disheartening. So for Andrew, he won't give up. He'll continue with his business and keep looking for a way back into the career he loves. Just hoping his next application will finally be his last. Give us a chance. If, they, if they Andrew can work for me for a week, if it don't go, I'm right, you're off. Fine, let me put some first. We shouldn't have to prove ourselves with any other person. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.